Hi, this is Judah Mantel for SceneForge Studio, and in this video I'm going to go over how you can use the companion SceneForge utility app for your iOS or Android device to connect to SceneForge and then use the augmented reality capabilities of your device to control virtual cameras through 3D space. So you can see I have this environment here. It's this Star Destroyer interior with a character, uh, some lights, and most importantly, a free camera. This is a free camera, meaning it's not bound to a tripod or any other type of rig so it can be moved independently of that. So you can see I just dragged that in by bringing it from here. I only want that one, so let's just stick with this. And let's go into shoot mode and just adjust the position so it's looking at my character like that. Now the first thing you want to do in order to connect to your device is open up the connectivity window over here. Now at the bottom, you do have OSC to control aspects of the SceneForge editor from other devices, but we can talk about that in another video. The section we're looking for here is the mobile app connection. And to get started, you're going to want to download the app either to your iOS or Android device. This does work better on iOS devices because of the LiDAR capabilities of the iPhone and iPad Pros, but it will work on your Android device just as well. So once you have the app open, you'll actually see your phone's IP address on the front of the screen. You want to make sure both your devices are on the same Wi-Fi network in order for them to be able to find each other. So you can either enter your phone's IP address in this text box and click connect, or you can click connect just like so and have it automatically try to discover the device. And after a few seconds, you can see it says connected and on the phone, it also says it's connected. Now on the phone, by default, there are two modes. There's the set measure mode, which I'll talk about in another video, and the virtual camera mode. Now at the moment, the virtual camera mode is what we want. And you can see when I tap that, now suddenly the camera will go a little crazy as it now uses my phone's tracking. And so if I turn this around entirely, you can see now we're watching our character here using my phone's movement. Now I'm gonna close this and you can see it turns green to let you know that there is a device connected. And inside shoot mode on the left-hand side, you can see now under mobile camera tracking, we have all these options for controlling this device. So right now I have smooth motion, that's why it looks a little smooth. So we can turn this off by pressing zero, and now the movement will be much more jittery. So you're gonna have to play around with that to find something you like. And on the phone itself, of course, you see a view of the scene from the camera, and you can control the zoom, focus, and focus distance, just like any other camera app. Like that. You can, can also tr control the stream quality and stream frame rate, which may be helpful for performance, just to make it run a little bit faster. It's a little choppy because of the recording, but in practice, it'll be a lot smoother. You can also turn on and off position or rotation tracking. So if position is disabled, it'll only use your device's rotation, and you can use a little thumbstick to control the position. Or if I disable rotation, then it's just the phone's position. And so what's cool about this is that once you're happy with the motion, I'm going to turn on smoothing just a little bit. On the phone, you can either take individual snapshots in the same way you would on the computer like that, or you can start recording on the phone and move the camera around, and it'll be recording keyframes to the timeline in the same way that it would if you were clicking and dragging within the desktop app. And so now once I stop recording, I can disconnect and play back my motion on the timeline like that. Now something that's pretty useful is if I connect to the virtual camera like so, there we go, and I want to recalibrate the position of the phone relative to the virtual camera, I can tap on the calibration icon at the bottom of the app. That'll pause tracking, allowing me to move the phone to another location, then tap it again, and now resume from this position. So if I want me facing that direction to mean facing the character, I can just tap to calibrate, face the position, and then resume tracking like that. So it just makes it very versatile and very customizable as you're working with the app. And so with that, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.